In this video, we will learn how to create uh, photorealistic perspective uh, floor plans and section ins in an easy way in 3D Studio Max. If you have my workspace installed, then you can just go into open file and uh, you just open as a test uh, scene my preset scene daylight, uh, which we uh, do right now. Here we go. And what I want to do, I would want to look through the ceiling onto my, uh, into my room uh, in top view. And what you obviously need for my method is you need a ceiling which you can select uh, as uh, an independent object. In this case, in the simple um, scene, which I normally don't recommend, I have uh, one object for the whole room. So what I first do, I just select the top polygons uh, and I just go into um, uh, detach and call this ceiling. Uh, okay. And I also select my uh, ceiling. And um, if I would hide my ceiling, then I obviously can look into this room in my top view. Uh, but the problem is you can already see this in my uh, viewport, then uh, a lot of uh, light comes into the room, which is not actually what we uh, want. Uh, we want to have the realistic daylight situ uh, situation, and I want to still be able to look into my um, um, into my room. So what I actually do, I just have selected my ceiling, I just say right mouse click, I go into object properties and I just say rendering control not by layer but by object and I switch off visible to camera. I just switch it off for my ceiling. Okay, now I select my top view, I um, extend, maximize my viewport top view and I also go into uh, top user and just say uh, show save frame to see what actually uh, will be in my visualization. And if I'm in my top view, I just change to perspective view. I just press uh, the key P, perspective. Here we go. And now I can already do my first visualization for uh, my photorealistic and perspective floor plan. Here we go. What I definitely recommend is uh, using a uh, show safe uh, frame and uh, that you adjust uh, the size of your visualization. And uh, if I go into a bigger size, like um, probably a square size, like 2000 by 2000, now we see that it adjusts um, the size of my viewport, that you can really see what um, your visualization will look like. Yeah, and this is what it looks like uh, with a higher resolution. And uh, this is, by the way, what it looks like if you switch off your ceiling so the light comes uh, through your ceiling. What you can see that you can look into uh, this wall and you should just try to put a cap hole modifier on top and then this problem is also fixed. Here you can see uh, my room with and without cap holes, and this looks uh, this is what it looks like with the modifier cap holes on top. Okay, let's see how I can easily create a perspective uh, sectioning. And what I have to do, uh, I have to collect all my 3D geometries, and uh, then I would like to apply a slice modifier. So what I do, I just go into my selection filter, I just uh, choose geometry, and I select all my 3D objects, so camera, lighting, and everything is not selected, only 3D geometries. And I create um, a selection set, call this check sectioning. Okay, and uh, next step uh, in my polar menu of modifier, I just add my slice modifier. I use my uh, selection set in terms of sectioning because it's really important that uh, after I produced my uh, uh, sectioning, I want to uh, switch my slice modifier off again, and I don't want to be into trouble that I forget uh, to switch it on on some objects, so uh, that's why I did it. And what you can see with your slice modifier, you can um, just uh, say you remove uh, top, 
the top one or the bottom. It's also a nice way of uh, creating um, floor plans. I just go into remove top or remove move bottom. And you can go in the puller menu of your slice and you can turn your slice plane and I just turn it uh, like like this to 90 degrees and here we go and if I now go I zoom into my front plane and also here front viewport and I go into P like perspective you can see that uh, I already produced um, a really nice um, uh, perspective sectioning. I can also move my sectioning plane and you can see what happening with my uh, uh, with my sectioning and next step I just do my first visualization. Here we go and this is my photorealistic uh, visualization and you can also see that I can look into my wall and into my profiles again if I just add a cap or put a uh, cap hole modifier on top then you can see what it looks, looks like um, here my um, uh, my walls are closed you just have to try it not it doesn't always work but most of the time you will get a good result and of course you can turn your section plane in all directions and uh, this is what it looks like if you create a perspective uh, um, sectioning uh, floor plan of your design. Thanks for watching.